seems like things are going really well between Neek and Dwayne. Now, Dwayne is back playing basketball overseas, and he posted up a troubling message on Instagram that was allegedly posted, then quickly deleted. It states, it went from, I want 10 minutes to where you're at. I'm in the A to likes while I'm on your page. When I keep saying, you don't have to fake it with me. I never force no one to be in my life, but don't come to me talking about you all I want. And you ain't even got enough respect for me to keep your wrongs low key. Be about to throw yourself off a cliff when you feel played, but steady playing with me okay bets now i'm not sure exactly what this was about and why it was even posted on instagram but again it was quickly deleted now this was around the time that neek was spending time in new york with bernice so now you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below hopefully everything is well i mean they are still following each other on the gram now let's move on to this next topic with Hallie Bailey and Tyla. Now, Tyla did win a VMA last night from an award that Hallie and Little Nas X were presenting. Hey, Tyla! Oh my God. You guys, me, you guys know me and holding awards. You, I am not, I'm not strong enough. Use this. Are you able to open me? Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. So, so people started leaving comments stating things like, Tyler tried to make Hallie the maid. Glad Hallie didn't fall for it. Now people started making all kind of jokes because Hallie wasn't trying to hold that award for Tyler. Someone even goes on to state, Tyler seems kind of rude. Push your assistant, then shoot your hand when Hallie asks if you wanted the envelope. Tyler quickly responded to everyone on Twitter. She stated, y'all make everything weird. I was not asking my girl Hallie. We just girls. Shut the up. I want a VMA. And Hallie responded with, exactly. Love you, babes. Congrats. Okay, guys. So I've just landed in New York City and I'm only here for a day. I decided this year to sit out fashion week, to sit out everything else because I just, quite frankly, I didn't really feel like it. And then also I've been a little bit under the weather and, um, yeah, I just wanted to be with my baby, but today is an exception. So we are in Times Square. Look how pretty this is. Ooh. Like, I didn't realize my room was gonna be right in the middle of all of the excitement and chaos, and I'm loving it. So I'm going to show you guys me getting ready today. This is obviously the before, straight from the airport, just landed, and I'm about to get my glam done in a few hours. I'm going to shower, clean up, and then show you guys everything. So okay. now Corey is stating more of his social media pages have been taken down and he's under attack. Now you guys remember he stated previously that Carmen and her team were the ones that got his Instagram removed. Now his Facebook is removed, his TikTok and his Snapchat. Your boy been locked in man, getting, getting, getting a lot of shit together. So I'm about to drop an EP called Reborn Motion. All right. Wanted to get everybody prepared for this EP that I'm about to get ready to drop. I'm finna be all over social media blogs. I'm about to get my Instagram back. My Facebook just got took from me. What was I think yesterday? Yesterday morning. Don't ask me how. I'm on the attack, y'all. Somebody is attacking the hell out of Corey SSG. They trying to get me off the media. I don't know who it is, but um, in my mindset, bro, it don't even matter. All I've been just telling my people, like, man, look, man. What God got for you, can't nobody stop. The devil can try every way he can to stop you, but when God got a mission for you, the devil can't get in front of that. It's just up to you to stay strong and, you know what I'm saying, make it through them trials and tribulations. So with that being said, I should be getting my Instagram and my Facebook back very soon. I got people working on it right now. So for the people that have been looking for my Facebook, it just got too Y'all know my Instagram been gone since, like, what, March? Yeah, my Instagram been gone since March. My main Instagram was 4.5 million followers. Somebody paid and got my shit deleted. 
Facebook just left this morning, yesterday morning. Uh, my Snapchat still gone, by the way. My Snapchat gone also. So that's three of my platform that's been taken away from me. So they're trying to stop the kid. I don't know what the hell I'm doing to him. They're trying to stop the kid, man. But yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, so look. I got a dope ass. I got a lot of videos coming. I got house tour videos coming. I got car tour videos coming. I got all type videos coming that I know y'all ready to watch. But before we get too okay, started, so y'all yeah. go see everything happen. Even with all my social media platforms, like I've been kind of like blackball a little, like on the, on the cut out to my Instagram, my Snapchat, my, even my main TikTok. I took so right now my new TikTok got like ninety some thousand followers. I'm not as active on that like I'm supposed to be because I'm really just trying to get the hang of it. I really just don't be on TikTok like that. But I'm I'm in the I'm in the I'm on the verge of getting all my social medias back, and I would not be shadow banned how 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 I've been shadow banned for a while. I've been shot up bad for a minute, and I know what happened. I know how it how it get to that point. Not go too much speak on it because that's why I haven't been speaking on it a lot. But yeah, so y'all gonna get ready to see everything, man. And I appreciate everybody that really just you know stay true to the so smooth game. Because one thing when I say remove, not I'm talking about bro. Check this out. When God elevate you and God get ready to take you to another level, hit this out. He's going to remove so many things from around you, not just materialistic things. He's going to remove people out your life. You know what I'm saying? He's going to remove old habits that you have. And one thing I can tell y'all, bro, so many people, so fucking many people, bro. Like, it's like you'll be on the outside looking like, damn, what the fuck I did? Why everybody acting weird, switching up and being fake and shit now all of a sudden? Because what happened is when you in one area of your life and you're popping, a lot of people try to attract to you. They try to get around you because they want to get some type of benefits from whatever you got going on in your life. So you'll think that people fuck with you for who you are, but the whole time they fuck with you just because of who you are, if you get what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? And um, a, a lot of people, I done helped so many people, bro. I done helped so many people. You feel? I done put so many people on. I done blessed so many people. And I didn't even made friends with, well, I thought I made friends with a lot of people who I thought fought with me. But when I went through this little cycle of storing last year, and I went through what I'm going through, it really started in 2022. But it really hit 2023. When I started going through everything I started going through, I started seeing the real from everybody. God just started exposing everybody to me for who they really are. And this is up to you to take heed of that, to understand, like, look, now God has shown you what he need to show you before you go to this next level. Now, if you continue to put yourself in the cycles that in the thing, the situation that God took you out of, that's you blocking your blessings. Because one thing God is not going to do, He's not going to bless you with the people who have who He have removed that cannot actually benefit from your blessings. So if you continue to fall into that cycle, that trap, and do the things that He's removed you away from, you ain't gonna be able to surpass. You feel what I'm saying? So I've seen. So, and I didn't see so, it's so many people who I thought I fucked with. And I'm going to tell you the real shit about it. Like, I have nothing against none of the people. You know, so that's the good thing with me is like, I'm neutral. You know, I just respect y'all for who y'all are. Everybody show me who y'all are. So now when y'all see Corey just take off like a fucking rocket, all that, yo, man, pull up on me, man. Let me come hang with you. Oh, man, they get in the studio and lock in. Oh, man, I do this YouTube video. All oh, that do this. It's like, no, you're not, getting, you're not getting close to me. 